I'm not some guy's dream girl. I'm my own dream girl. Because that to me is part of this journey. It's just take that that verb, that metaphor, however you want to. Like, I love my body. I love my pussy now because she's powerful. I love, I am lusting and honoring, working to honor, you know, worship my body, myself, a higher source, a higher guidance first so that I'm not in self-sabotage and so that I'm actually working to trying to find the right words. I don't want to say kill lust because I, to me it's, it's hard to like completely, um, separate lust and desire. And I don't believe that desire is bad, but to me it's, it's, it's starving the ego. It's starving the lower aspect of us that is greedy and is, um, needy and is, um, lustful and, you know, all of those, those, those parts of us that want to control us. This guy spoke that yesterday that it's like, that's one of the things that catches us, that catches us up that, that we get caught up in, <laughs> cannot speak, is that like desire for connection with others because you get lonely and you get exhaust. It's exhaustive doing, doing some of this stuff on your own, especially if you depending what kind of spiritual warfare you might act, you might be moving through. Um, there's a, there's a feeling of security and like more resources. There's a, there's this kind of false feeling of abundance that we get when we have more people around us. And I do think that there is this need for connection and all of these things. But like when that's my point though, is it's like star, not, not, not eliminating the desire for connection, but that's not going to go away because you're still trying to connect to your source. You're connecting to nature. You're connecting to these other, um, you're connecting within. So it's just not running to that, that thing that you think is going to fix everything. So that's why I say that because it's like, it's not that I don't ever want to be attractive for somebody else, but it's that I don't, I don't want to date anyone that wants to put me in a box. I don't ever want to go back to that place. I don't want to ever lose myself again. And that's kind of, it all goes together. So you're like, I want to keep being authentic. I want to keep breaking out of my own box. I want to keep embracing all of who I am and then wait for those people that are, ha are on that same journey. So they're doing their own shadow work and they're embracing all of who they are as well. And wanting to be their own dream girl and dream boy. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. Yeah.